<laughs> no, yeah, so uh, my parents separated. They got like, uh, I think they separated when I was like uh, eighth grade or something like that. Um, we used to have this meat market. I'm fucking talking. You want me to open up and you're whispering to your beloved over here? I just wanted to get you some yeah, tissues. Yeah, Brett, that was pretty fucked up. That's, that's toilet paper. This isn't tissues. Same thing get- to me. Here, just in case you cry. Thanks, dude. <laughs> Support for the good boys is brought to you by Manscaped, who is the best in men's below the waist grooming. Manscaped offers precision engineered tools for your family jewels. Manscaped recently launched the ultimate men's hygiene bundle. The performance package join over 4 million men worldwide who trust Manscaped with this exclusive offer for you. 20% off and free worldwide shipping with the code Good boys at manscaped.com. That's G O O D B O Y S at manscaped.com. If my math is correct, that's about 8 million balls. You see, I was a bad boy before I came across Manscaped, and now I'm a good boy and I'm treating my good boys right. Welcome back to the Good Boys Podcast with Toddy and Brett. Today's guest is David Alvarez. Welcome Ooh, back, David Alvarez. Man, that was really good. Thank you, dude. You Welcome know, back. Well, like, welcome back for the first time. First, second time. We're sorry, David. We had some technical <laughs> issues with your... F- you were the first guest we had, but we had audio issues, and we apologize, even though... Well, I, I won't I want reprimand... Uh, what is it called? Reprimands. <laughs> Whatever. Reprimand. That word. I, who I got didn't know fired? that word. Who got fired? Who got... Because I worry. see Danielle still here. No, Danielle Yeah, had- but you see Danielle running the cameras? <laughs> <laughs> no, she's not. Thank God. Oh, he said no one got fired. Just someone got hired. Oh, we didn't pay Daniel for two weeks. Oh, that's good. Yeah. I'm, I feel like she should be demoted somehow for something. Like maybe less yeah. pay. You're a great guy. You're funny. You're Mexican, which that's yeah, what Mexican. I love about you. That's true. And you know, you're always there for Brett. And you're getting a little extra views on your videos now. And I'm proud of you. Man, dude, yeah, you are then hit a million views. Are you dude, serious? You're popping off right now. It's pretty yeah. sick. Damn. And the next one's about to get. Yeah, it's like it's compared to like you know like the view stats. Yeah. It's actually doing better than one of the ones that hit a million views. I can so see that, in your face. So that one's going to... Yeah, you're glowing. Yeah, you are glowing. Are you still... Um, uh, yeah, I was able to buy some moisturizer finally. <laughs> Kiehl's. Uh, Kiehl's. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Well, I you said I feel? I just want to apologize on behalf of the Good Boys crew and cast that uh, we were we have had a couple episodes where we had technical difficulties with our mics. Mm-hmm. Um, we figured all of but it who's out. Who's Mike? Mike uh, Sheffer. Mike Sheffer. Yeah, honestly, uh, it's just growing pains. So it, it's, it happens. I feel like, you know, podcasts, there's a lot of moving parts. And, yeah. you know, Brett fucks up sometimes. And we hold ourselves to a really high caliber. And we just were like, you know, we could put out the episode, but the mic will cut in and out. Or we could just re-record it and That's try true. and, and then do the best we possibly can. And then to get you back over here again. Yeah, yeah, we I also mean, like, I, love uh, you. I thought originally it was going to be Todd, Brett, and David. And then you guys just... That's what we wanted it to be. But you're really busy with your... Your new videos that you're doing? I would do Todd, Brett, and David if you wanted. Or even like David, Todd, Brett. We could do it by total YouTube views. Like if you add up all the YouTube views that person has ever gotten, that's the first name. Well, so let's start golf rules. So it's you first. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so you, <laughs> yeah, yeah, so go in reverse. I'm yeah, me, so David, Brad, Todd. Brett, David, Toddy. <laughs> I, you gotta keep. You're gonna keep going, and I, and I believe in you. And as long gonna, as I use Keen and JC <laughs> in the thumbnail, I'm golden. Keen and JC, what are they up to these days? The reality house or... Yeah, I'm glad you. you that, right? I'm glad you had me on so we can talk about Keenan and JC. Great, so what this is my that? fucking life now. Wait, Keenan's right upstairs. J- do you guys want to text him? I have him come down. Would you mind just getting up real quick? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah Keenan lives above Brett. Has Has Keenan and JC been asking about us? Or yeah, they they did. They they well they asked if you and Natalie were serious because they wanted you to be, um, in the next reality house. No way, they wanted me. Yeah, they can. Do they want Brett? Would they have me? Yeah, they can. Take I would Brett. Do definitely know. I don't even think they know your full name. Well, Brett, it's just Brett. Oh, yeah, really? I think I had a whole conversation with JC at your birthday, and I think he was still trying to figure out who I was. He's like, aren't you Todd's assistant's brother? <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. It's so uh, good. That's, that's really funny. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, JC, oh my God. Okay, so after your birthday, I went home, and I went to go. I went to sleep. I you know, had some me time. I watched Seinfeld. I couldn't sleep. And all of a sudden, 4 a.m., I hear a bunch of people just barging in, yeah. including Brett's sister, 
I can hear her voice. I can hear JC. Wait, she was barging into your room? Zane, no. <laughs> <laughs> no in his Gross, house. dude. <laughs> Where's HR in this shit? <laughs> I'm HR. Dang on, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> um, fucking Zane brought an after party back to yeah. our house, which was fine. <laughs> I was going to go. And then Oh yeah, you, you you were like blacked out or something like that. He blacked out. No, he texted me the, well, no, the spins. JC, yeah, JC gives me. He's like, before we go, take one more shot. And you know, I was like, okay. And you know when you take a shot and you're like, that's Ooh. the one. Hey, that's the one. I was yeah. like, looked at Grace and I was like, I have the spins. <laughs> you better go. And driving home, the I kept telling the Uber driver, play play Mambo number five. <laughs> and I asked him like seven times until he finally played Mambo number five, <laughs> <laughs> and he did it. <laughs> Did you it's sing? my birthday. Play my song. Song. Yeah. I sing the whole. I know that whole. That, that's the only song I know. Like from the besides Natalina, yeah. Besides that one, yeah. So the after party comes to my house, uh-huh. and they're singing karaoke downstairs. <laughs> but the next morning, I wake up and I go downstairs, uh-huh. and JC, JC was still there, huh? bro. JC with his shoes on, his jacket on. I'm telling you, this is the funniest shit I've ever <laughs> yeah, seen. Yeah. He was on his back. And his face was like in the cushion. <laughs> his mouth was open, and he was passed the fuck out. Yeah, and yeah. his feet were hanging off the couch, and his his arms were at his side. And oh I was my fu- God, I dude. was dying. It was so funny to see dude. him. And I go lay down next to him. He's like, "Oh, what's up, dude?" I'm like, "He looks so cute. Yeah, I just yeah. wanted to cuddle yeah, with him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was so adorable. But He's dude, so and then on top of JC on the couch, which was oh fun, no, which was beautiful. Him on the couch. Mm-hmm. I walk outside, and oh there is just God. puke. Everywhere, yeah, all over the dude. patio. All wanna, over the patio. I want to apologize for that. No, you weren't even there. It's not your fault. I know it's not my fault at all. I don't. I don't condone <laughs> that kind of fucking behavior. It was your I, friends who did that. I mean, barely friend. <laughs> <laughs> I would say. <laughs> I would say more like you know. I'm forced to be Oscar's yeah. friend. Yeah, we we had footage of him on the ring going outside. I know, and so he's puking on the fucking projectile. Spent. Yeah, we sent it to the group chat, and Oscar was like, "Oh my god, no way, dude! I'm embarrassed." I was like, "No, bitch, you embarrassed you got caught." <laughs> Zayn has a whole backyard. Bro, I don't know why he chose. Got- he has. Gra- we have grass everywhere. He chose a cement. And why then- does everyone say it's Zayn's house? They it's all my live house there, too, yeah. they, and God. they all split it equally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So thank you. My bad. Thanks, Brad. Appreciate it. Yeah. So the sun was already out, had its coffee, mm-hmm. and that puke dried on the cement. Do you know who cleaned that up? JC. Danielle. Oh, oh Danielle karma's a bitch. bitch. That oh. bitch had to pipe the fuck up. Uh, <laughs> that's what you get for singing at 4 a.m. when I was trying to sleep. Well, yeah, it's probably your fault. You probably, you took JC and Oscar home. I don't know why, like, what, for like a shout out on an IG story or something? I have no idea why. Did for you get a shout out? No. For the no. audio listeners, David was directing that at Danielle. She's behind the cameras. Yeah, she's. Yeah. What do we have her here? Um, I, feel I like don't can't know. be myself. Wait. Now she lives with me. Ooh. See, I'm telling you, you're gonna be fucking <laughs> his parents. Hey, you leave my parents out of this. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> the funniest part of that night, also, I heard was uh, what happened in Tien's car. Oh what my god. Oh, with the uh with Oscar. The sunshade thingy blocking. Yeah, dude, that's fucking crazy. I've never been that drunk. Wait, where he threw he threw it out. I guess window, they right? were driving down the street, not and Tian was like, This guy Oscar's way too fucked up. I'm gonna drive him home. Uh-huh. To be a homie, and then Oscar started taking all of the anything that wasn't attached to Tian's car and throwing it out the window while Tian was driving. What? Yeah. That's yeah. Right. What the like pretty fuck fucked up. He was he, on one, huh? Yeah, he felt really bad. He texted Tian and uh, apologized, yeah, and I guess yeah. they made amends. They, because <laughs> they made amends. Is Tian getting a shout out too? But Tian was like, who, who the fuck told you? And I was like, what? And I was like, well, Todd told me that Oscar did that. And he was like, oh, well, as long as fucking Zayn knows, I didn't say anything. And I was like, why would Zayn care? And he was like, Zayn paid me money to forget about that because I was so upset. <laughs> and, and he was like, and I respect hush money. Wait, so you guys met in Long Beach? Yeah, surfing. It was kind of cool. He saved my life. He, he gave me mouth to mouth. Yeah. It was nice. It was, Your lips are so tender. They still are tender. That's crazy. Were you a YouTuber at the time? <laughs> um. Yeah. I think, I think yeah. Yeah. One of the reasons why I love Todd is because he was just, like, so nice. And, like, I knew who he was. He, like, didn't know who the fuck I was. Really? Like, didn't know anyone who I fucking hung out with. I was like, yeah, I hang out with kind of, like, famous people, too. I hang out with blah, 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 blah. <laughs> and Todd's like, I haven't fucking heard of them, dude. Have they, have they ever been invited by to VidCon to be a feature creator? I'm like, I'm like I don't fucking don't give a shit. And he was like, but you're fucking cool. We're going to get drunk tonight. And I was like, okay. That's great. No, he's always like, yeah, you're always real, dude. 
You didn't give a shit who I was. We've always you, been like that. You liked yeah, you. Yeah. We had a connection instantly. We did, huh? Yeah. Mm. No, so, I don't have any. I don't have an issue talking about my dad because that's one of the things that like I grew up with, and I think it's a. Uh, I don't know. I use humor to talk about. Of course. You know, if you don't want to talk about it, because you know, th- it could be traumatic. I don't want to bring that back up again. You know, we can just be one and done Dude, talking I talk about, about your dad it all the time. <laughs> Even when sometimes I'm like with my chiropractor. <laughs> I'm a masseuse, and they're like, well, why are we talking about this? <laughs> what are we talking about? So the most people just stay quiet, and I'm like, yeah, he did drugs, <laughs> left us for a few years. <laughs> no, yeah, so uh, my parents separated. They got like, uh, I think they separated when I was like uh, eighth grade or something like that. Um, we used to have this meat market. I'm fucking talking. You want me to open up, and you're whispering to your beloved over here? I just wanted to get you some yeah, tissues. Yeah, Brett, that was pretty fucked up. That's, that's toilet paper. This isn't tissues. Same thing get, to me. Here, just in case you cry. Thanks, dude. Go ahead, David. Did you notice how I called your, your beloved? I heard. <laughs> <laughs> well, super poor. We came from Mexico. Fucking, my dad worked in construction. Saved a bunch of money. Had like three, four jobs at once. Bought a restaurant. It was a meat market in Paramount, California. Popped off. We were finally making the big bucks, okay? Did you work in the meat market? When I was a kid, yeah. Damn, that's kind of cool. That's cool. Day, yeah, yeah, I would uh, clean the tables and stuff, uh-huh. and people would buy food, and they would, they would be like a little cup, and I'd be like, if, tip, senor, por favor, tip. <laughs> <laughs> no, you didn't. I swear, yeah. <laughs> um, no, but it was popping off, and I think, you know, with the success of that, uh, you know, my dad just started doing... Some drugs, some extracurricular activities with the boys, some other workers from the store, because they were all living, dude, you know? Yeah. So, uh, yeah, we used to throw these fucking crazy New Year parties, dude. I'm telling you, like, the biggest party you've seen in L.A., my parents would throw that with just, like, 300 crazy-ass Mexican people. (laughs) Just fucking doing drugs, mariachi till 3 a.m., all the fucking white people in the neighborhood like, keep it down. <laughs> and they're like, no, we're not. It was crazy. It was nuts. Um, but yeah, I think, you know, I got to the point where my dad started doing some, yeah, way more extracurricular. Not the fun, not the fun drugs. Yeah. Anymore. And then uh, he left us for a few years. Uh, he moved to San Francisco, where I think he moved because his sister moved, lived over there and so did my brother. My brother kind of took care of him. My brother Marco, my older brother. Was able to kind of like um, really uh, kind of look after him. Cause I think my dad was kind of struggling. He was like my hero growing up. So growing up, I gave I gave him give him a lot of excuses. I was like, yeah. You know, but did you? Probably, but you he just he worked so hard. You should, mom. Like he's he's, he's giving up. He's taking a rest yeah, over like there. He, you know, I loved him. I don't think he, even like growing up, I kind of like lied that he was doing any drugs. I remember my friend Manny one time came over, and he would do all this stuff in the garage. You know. He would kind of disappear in there, and I would always assume he was, like, fucking building something in there. And you would hear shit building, but I think, I swear to God, I think he would just fucking make, grab the drill and go, <laughs> I swear to God. Because looking back on it, what the hell was he building in there, dude? <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God. He was, like, sawing random pieces of wood in there. You walk you walk in there, it's just a bunch of pieces just cut every which way. What the hell? <laughs> What's oh, he doing? Yeah. And how did you start to figure out that, it might have not been what you expected. Uh, I think I remember him. I remember one time my friend Manny, who's just a little bit more ahead of me in that like kind of department of like drug culture and stuff like that. He was like, holy shit, dude. You're dead. There's drugs. Look at this pipe. And I looked at him. I was like, that's a fucking work pipe, you fucking idiot. <laughs> you know shit. <laughs> and we were just putting it away. And I'm like, what the fuck is that, <laughs> Yeah, but Manny was a little quick one. He's my best friend. Damn. He was just like, no, dude, that's a drug pipe, bro. <laughs> I think I saw that on Pulp Fiction. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, my God. Um, so- but I called him an idiot. And then, um, yeah, I don't know. My dad was just like, he was just up late. And he would always be like, I'm working. So I was kind of like, you know, he was my hero. So I would be like, Mom, he's working in there. Look, you can hear the drill right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, dude. I swear, dude. dude. So he's like, I mean... Damn, that's pretty crazy because you said you guys were pretty successful with the restaurant. And yeah. then... And then it just went downhill. And then it kind of just went downhill. Yeah, because... Wow, that's Because, you lot. know, he, I feel like my mom wasn't good with her money. So we didn't have an account. So she was just fucking 
I mean, I don't know how much we were making, but I want to say it was like, bro, it was like 20K profit a month or something for a while, like, or more. It was, we were wow. making a lot of money. Damn. And my mom was just like, we had a fucking boat. My mom had two cars. My dad had two cars. My brother Marco, who was 18, 17 years old, he had two cars. He had a Mustang and a Thunderbird. Oh, man, what the fuck? Yeah, they were all rich. Dude. Like, I feel bad for my little brothers. They're like, they're still living in that poor area, you know? Like, wow. They, they grew up in that poor phase. I was like, I kind of, you know, I, wanted, I had every toy I wanted. But Marco and Alan, they had like, Alan got to go to trips, fucking Mark, like New York when he wanted to, when he was like 16 or some what? shit. Marco had cars. So that was kind of nice. Right. So now like fast forward to today, how, how are things going with you and your dad? I mean, it was good. I think, you know, I mean, we never really talked about it. I think, you know, like, I think when I found out officially my mom or my parents were like trying to divorce, she brought me over one day when I was trying to like defend him for not sending any over like child support or anything mm -hmm. and i was like well you fucking work so hard mom for years getting that store if you didn't send child support for one month whoop de doo and she was like come here and i was like what and then she showed me a piece of paper and it was like divorce papers and it was like and i remember looking at her and she was like <laughs> damn and i was like well this has just ruined my week you just ruined my hero mom i'm just kidding <laughs> But uh, so I was like, oh, fuck. But well, I think those kind of things make us who we are. And, you know, I I think we've talked about this before, but like I think you can tell pretty instantly right when you meet you that you're like a pretty special person. But it wasn't until like six months into me knowing you where it like I really was like, holy shit, you really are. And it was you really that moment. just an all right guy. No, it was like. You know, you know, like there's good people and then there's like, OK, there's special people. And we were at um, Chipotle. Remember that? And I paid for you. And then you're like, holy shit, this guy's nice. No, dude. <laughs> this guy really is rich. <laughs> no, we were at Chipotle with your brother and a former teacher of yours walked up to you. Oh, yeah. What'd she say? She's like, you're so sexy now, David. No, she went, she came up to me. You can tell a story. So she comes up to him and she was like, because we were at the Chipotle right next to Cedar Sinai Hospital. And she sees David. And she's like, David. And she's like, oh, my God. And she starts crying. And she's like, you are my favorite student. She's like, I love you so much. You were always the best to me. She's like, my dad, and he's sick. He's like, he's, he's at Cedar sinai He doesn't have long to live. And honestly, like, I've been in such a hard place, and seeing you has, like, made yeah. my whole day. Like, it's changed my whole life. Like, all this stuff she was saying. I was Damn. like, oh, my God. It's yeah, pretty cool, man. I was like, this is good. <laughs> this is making me really look real good. <laughs> no, I love this guy. Yeah, no, that was amazing. She's uh, She was my AP Spanish teacher. And I loved her. Literally, I like I had a super big crush on her, but like not like a creepy crush. I was just like, "Aren't you Mexican?" Woman though? of my dreams. You're so sweet and amazing, and you just take care of everyone. Damn. And I know no. her, her. Her husband was amazing too. He was a big CrossFit guy. We were just always so sweet, and it was nice seeing her and hearing like, all, like her saying all that stuff really made me happy and stuff. Uh, how are things with my dad? Yeah, um, you know, he came back. He wrote his wrongs. He started living with us for a while, and then my parents, um, he sobered up after my grandpa passed away, which is a crazy-ass fucking story. Tell us the story. This is a fucking exclusive. I always, I love this story because I feel like this is when my dad was like, this is, no, I think my dad was sober for like a couple of years or something, and we went to go visit him, and he was actually building a house for my, my brother, and he was sober. It was Thanksgiving, went to go visit him in San Francisco, and it was Thanksgiving dinner. It's like maybe like 4 p.m., and my brother's like, oh, we got to go pick up dad. He's not answering our calls. I think he's still on work at the work site from my house. So you go there, and then like I stay in the car, and my brother comes out like fucking angry. And he's closed the door. I was like, what's going on? And he's like, I think dad's using again. And I was like, why? He's been sober for like a year. And I walk inside, and I look at my dad, and I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> but he was like fixing shit. He wasn't like fake drilling shit. He was actually <laughs> he was he was you could tell he was like getting shit done, but yeah, yeah, he yeah. was like on something. But he was on, on yeah, one. and I was like, oh. And then uh, my dad looks at me. He was like, "Mijo, I'll meet you at the dinner." And like, I really got to finish this fucking cabinet. And I was like, honestly, dad, it's looking really good, but you gotta drink some water, <laughs> drink some bread. <laughs> but don't show up later, please. You cannot have the kids looking at you like this. So then we go. He comes to the dinner late. People kind of suspect stuff. It wasn't too obvious, but we kind of knew. And then we get to the house, and, like, my dad was, like, like we we're just visiting. So it's, like, me, my mom, my two little brothers, and my dad. So we're all sharing this one little room. 
because we're only staying the weekend. And uh, you just hear my dad kind of like, ah, ah, like just making noises while you're sleeping. And I was like, I'm the big brother. You got to protect mom and the kids. You got to sit your foot, you got to put your foot down. And I was like, hey! My dad's like, and I was like, oh, fuck, here's, here's a moment, dude. <laughs> I was like, moment. why don't you sleep downstairs? You're keeping us up. He was like, would you just say to your dad? And I was like, I said, why don't you go to my dad? And he was like, I don't need to. He was like, you don't, you don't talk to your dad like that. And I was like, well, you're keeping all this up. <laughs> like, to, you're keeping us up. Like my confidence level started, started going lower. Spiraling. And then my mom was, my mom was like, he was like, hey, he's just telling the truth. And my dad was like, fuck this. And he just gets up. He's like, I'm gonna go work on the house. <laughs> in my head was like oh he's gonna go do some more drugs and i was mad and i was like yeah well you don't fuck you then get out of here and i go back to sleep wow and then the next morning it's like someone just opens the door like poof and it's my sister-in-law and she goes your dad just passed away and she was like crying and then my brother's right next to me or right next to me right behind her he's like crying and i was like i was like oh fuck my dad i kicked him out and then I just start crying, and I was like, "Oh fuck, it's a, it's my fault, it's my fault." And then, and then I hear my mom like, "Oh man, like he had a heart attack," and I was like, "Oh fuck." Oh, you thought it was your dad? And it was my grandpa, but I heard oh. dad. Yeah. Fuck. I heard dad, Still yeah. rough. Yeah. So it's just that brief but, moment of thinking your dad yeah. passed my. Yeah, life. which is a weird moment because I was grateful it wasn't my dad for a second. Yeah, but it's still you. You have a loss. Yeah, but then it was like I was like, "Oh, thank God, it's not my dad." I was like, "What me <laughs> Because yeah. my favorite grandpa. Is Todd? Your, mom, your mom's dad? My dad's dad. Your dad's dad. So then my dad came home that day, and I think he was just like, because he missed it. He was like yeah. MIA for like the first half a day, and we finally found him. And then we gave him the news, and I saw him break down. I think after that, he was like, bro, yeah, I fucked up last night. And then after that, he's uh, my best friend. I love oh, the guy. That's awesome. Damn. It's great. It's been up yeah. and down with your father and your family, but you now you're yeah. fucking solid. Yeah. He's good. He he makes it on time for Thanksgiving. <laughs> for is he food. Keep, does he keep you up at night? Uh, well, you don't live with him anymore, right? No, I don't live with him anymore now. Uh, um, but I do like coming home when I visit like Long Beach. I'll come home like late. Let's say I'll drink with my friends in Long Beach or something, and I'll come home and he's always like up smoking a cigarette, probably like outside. It's so crazy. Like whenever I'm coming home, he's outside for just one cigarette, and I was like, Dad, and he was like, I'll tell you one. I'll tell you guys one secret in college. In college, and then, you know, I'll admit this, whatever. Um, <laughs> in college one day, you know, I, I only just really partook in, like, marijuana use. But one night, I felt a little frisky. And someone offered mm -hmm. me another drug. <laughs> the White Lotus. I don't know what that is. What's the White Lotus? I, I, I can't. I want, you guys get it. Anyways, so I come home. I come home right from a night of just, like, drinking oh and having a couple, you know... White lotuses, whatever. And then I come home and I look at my dad and he's like having a cigarette. He's like, what's up? And then I was like, dad, I tried it. <laughs> he's like, he's like smoking. He's like, yeah, what'd you think? <laughs> and I was like, I get why you loved us. <laughs> dude, him and I, la he laughed and laughed oh. and laughed. And then he goes, you fucking talk to me like that again. I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> That's the only time him and I have ever talked about him is the drugs. Bro, bro I, don't, like, I don't even know your dad, but I can picture that right now. Yeah, That's he like laughs. That's yeah. so great. And then he was like, don't ever do that shit again. And then he did. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, Todd, um, I know you just had a loss in your family, and my condolences. I know that really tough. Transition over here, huh? Um, nice transition. Thank you. No, I've just been meaning to like bring that up, and yeah. obviously, I know it's weird to do it here, but yeah, I know it just happened. Your, and your family sent some flowers to my parents, so thank you to the Bassics. Of course. Well, obviously, we love your family. My parents, my whole family loves your family, and we just wanted that we've we've been feeling for you. We know how that is, and it's really tough to go through something like that. Nice. So, well, you I know you visit. Yeah. You know, you visit your family a lot. Yeah, yeah. Which I really commend you. Like you, you're off. You're over there. Like I feel like. All the time. Once every two weeks or something, yeah. bro. Like, you're, you're, try. you're really yeah, a you're true like, you family You stay man. there for like a couple or a few days. Yeah. Which is really nice. I love all the Instagram stories. <laughs> Thanks, man. We're like, was your grandma one of the people you, you would visit? Yeah. Uh, no, I, would see, I would see her a lot. Um, obviously, COVID was, was rough at the beginning, but no, I mean, 
she, I grew up with her. I would always like stay at her house. I was super close with her, and so was my dad. So I, I just feel for him and the whole family. She was like the type of grandma. She would send a card for every holiday, even like mm-hmm. Halloween or like St. Patrick's Day. No, that's a cute. card. Tell us she loves us. Give us money, and she would call me all the time. And you know, like it's just like really rough. Obviously, I mean, you have lost people in your life. It just and for her, I think being, like when I when my grand when my dad lost his mom. Yeah, so the same same grandma. Like mm-hmm. seeing my dad. Yeah, like you know this kind of like figure in my life that's like super. You know, doesn't really cry that much, or you know, seeing him kind of cry. Yeah, bro, I was like, that's it's rough, right? You feel rough. for him. Yeah. And then, well, so when you said I feel for my my dad, I was yeah. like, bro, no, it that's sucks. Tough. Um, and like, you know, people whose grandparents and like them being older like doesn't help at all that they've yeah. lived a long life. It still like fucking sucks. She actually. Not sure if I told you, Brett, but she so she beat breast cancer and then she started she developed cancer in her organs. Oh shit! And then um, it was pretty crazy. We saw her during the holidays, and but recently before she passed, she she said goodbye to me. And I'm like, what are you, t- what are you talking about? Like, I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna be here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see you later. But then that was actually like the last like hour she said anything, and then she slept for she was like in and out of sleep for a couple of days, and then passed. But it was. It was pretty crazy because she like she knew and she was so thankful for her wow. life and like, for her family and like, Damn. but it was, it was not she she's like she was a lady that like, she cared about her family and other her friends and other people more than herself and she was she was always like just giving 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 so it's just you know, dude you got to start rough. doing that tradition in. In, and you have to like take up that tradition where you send everyone yeah. cards, bro. <laughs> like, yeah, you should take on and I be know, that yeah. person. Like yeah, at least you the card family, sender, you know. Yeah. She'd always, yeah, no, you're right. I should. She'd always call me. She's like, she called me Waddles. She's like, Waddles, did you get my card? She called you Waddles? Yeah. Oh, that's so cute. She called me Toddy, Waddles. Um, did you yeah. Waddle as a kid or something? <laughs> I don't know why she called me Waddles. <laughs> You've never asked? I actually, well, I called her, so Scott knows this. I call, I didn't call her Grandma. I called her Framma. Framma? Yeah, because I think as a kid, I couldn't say Grandma. I said Framma. Uh, and so even cute. as like a 30 year old man, I'm like, hi, Framma. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's so cute. She goes, hi, funny. Waddles. Yeah. <laughs> You think that's she looks true. at your dad and she's like, when is, she, when, when is he going to get grandma? <laughs> He's like 30 now. <laughs> he still doesn't know it's this grandma. Kid, it's, this kid keeps calling me grandma. He's like, I'm telling you, let me get him speech classes. <laughs> um, but well, yeah, it's... Uh, again, I'm, I'm sorry you went through that. And thank you. I appreciate you guys. Uh, you guys are... Everyone here has done something, something nice. So I appreciate everyone. I um, honestly threw that party for you. <laughs> that's... <laughs> Yeah, I got 99 to sponsor that brand for new. me. For your, for I'm you. sorry I wasn't drinking at your party. No, I know. But it was course. actually it was nice. I didn't go out the night before, um, but just being outside the house was nice and you know a little yeah. distraction. So I appreciate it that. It was really sweet that you came through and. Of course, your your birthday is the most important to me. So yeah. yeah, that was too dark. We need to make it more fun. Let's bring out some new energy, new life, new blood. Oh, Brett, Brett. Brett. we have hey. Hey. hey, we have everybody knows. It. Yeah, she's gonna say we have Tana's boyfriend. Wait, do we need to adjust the camera? Thanks, dude. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Very good. <laughs> Here, you take this mic. You're not taking my fucking mic. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding, hey, get this guy out of here. I'm the guest. Should I wear this? You want to? You wear? <laughs> Should I wear this? Hey guys, Todd here. I want to take a second to thank our sponsor for this video, Manscaped. To be a good boy here on the Good Boys Podcast, I like to stay fresh and clean down there. If you know what I mean. Inside this package, you'll find their Lawn Mower 4.0 trimmer, Weed Whacker Ear and Nose Hair Trimmer, Crop Preserver Ball Deodorant, Crop Reviver Toner, Performance Boxer Briefs, and a travel bag to hold your goodies. First off, the Lawn Mower 4.0. This trimmer is the future of grooming. Their fourth generation trimmer features a cutting edge ceramic blade to reduce grooming accidents and also has a 400K LED spotlight. Because this trimmer is waterproof, you can say goodbye to the mess on the bathroom floor. Want to take your grooming game even further? Their Performance Package 4.0 also includes the Weed Whacker Nose and Ear Hair Trimmer, which helps reduce nicks, snags, and tugs in those delicate nose holes. Their Crop Preserver Ball Deodorant and Crop Reviver Ball Toner will change the way you approach your hygiene routine. Manscaped even threw in two free gifts to their Performance Package 4.0, the Manscaped Boxers and the Shed Travel Bag. Trust me when I say this, fellas, your balls will thank you. 
Get 20% off and free shipping with the code GOODBOYS at manscaped.com. That's 20% off the free shipping at manscaped.com and use code GOODBOYS. G-O-O-D-B-O-Y-S. Unlock your confidence and always use the right tools for the job with Manscaped. You see, I was a bad boy before I came across Manscaped. And now, I'm a good boy and I'm treating my good boys right. Okay, so I know I know very little about you, Brett. But yeah, have you guys ever met? <laughs> yes. This is Bro, what I know. Okay. Brett's, his birthday. Oh, yeah. Brett's a fucking cowboy. Yeah. You, oh, over have you ever seen the show Survivor? Wait no, I th- let me say no, what I let me tell you what I know. I know you were on Big Brother. Yeah. Um uh you dating Tana Mojo? <laughs> Are uh, you in love still? Jay it's been a week. thinks still very thing? highly of you. Okay. Jay Boyce. He's Buffer Scott. You're Buffer Scott. Holy <laughs> shit. Oh my god. Can he you l- sing better? No. Scott's got, um, he's got pipes of an angel. And you came to my birthday party, and it was very sweet. I'm That's also great. Scott's technically roommate. Oh, yeah, yeah, do you live roommate. in the back now? Yeah. Dude, that's the room I wanted. No, no, he lives upstairs? upstairs. Oh. Oh, no, no. So we so Scott's podcast is upstairs. Wait, did Scott a, get a new place? Isn't yeah, he, bought the pe- yeah. he has the penthouse upstairs uh, above Brett. Dude, so many people live in this building. We got yeah, so, Ian, wait, Jeff, wait, Scott Jonah, lives here now? Scott, it's Jay. This is his podcast room. Oh. And then, but I live there. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's not bad. That's pretty cool. I'm in the penthouse. Yeah, Cause, penthouse, baby. Because of Daddy Scott. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cool. Scott was going through it, so he wanted to spend some money. You yeah. know, he's like this. It was like impulse buys, which oh. I respect. I respect oh, the yeah. impulse buys. I what else? What else do you those. know about Brett? Uh, I heard is you're hung like a bull. <laughs> Where'd you hear this? Jay Boyce. Oh, I or thought T- it was from the bull farm. TN? <laughs> TMZ? TN? TN, yeah, TMZ? Yeah, TMZ. I what have you heard about me, dude? Anything? Anything good? Well, you heard, you heard it was your birthday. You were there, yeah. Do you know how old he is? And, uh, actually, I don't. How old are you? 30, bro. Oh, it's a big one. It's a big okay. one, yeah. How old are you? This weekend. I'm 28. Wait, Who turns this weekend? This weekend. When? The 15th. I'm the 16th. Wow. Yeah, I had my let's, birthday week early couple, though. Let's couple it up. Dude. So we prematurely and celebrated your birthday. Brett loves copying us. Yeah, wait, <laughs> Brett, I have to go to your party <laughs> now. 100. percent Dude, you crashed mine. Open bar. You owe me at least one drink. Wait a second. <laughs> but who are you gonna bring to my birthday? Probably my girlfriend. Okay, you can bring her. <laughs> she sounds nice. <laughs> yeah, she's super uh, sweet. That story you were telling earlier, where with the with the lotus flower. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the white lotus. <laughs> your father was probably one of the funniest stories I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is, you ever fucking say that to me again? Yeah. But like, I don't even know you that well, and I don't even—I obviously don't know your father. But I could see a father. Like, I resonated with that story. I was like, man, like, I think that's what my dad would do too. Yeah, like, he you, laughed, dude. He <laughs> laughed like, like I've never seen him laugh, and then was like, "You ever fucking talk to me? You ever, you ever, you ever, you ever bring that shit up?" <laughs> You know that's something we don't talk about, even though we all know I did. <laughs> you know that drill that I do all the fake, the fake construction with. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was were, practicing for this day. <laughs> when you hear tools, do you get PTSD? Yeah, I think I was like, oh, someone's probably doing drugs right now. <laughs> You they're, were building, they're building a apartment complex next to my house, and I'm like, dude, they're doing drugs. <laughs> so the re- reason I relate to that so much is like. It's funny when you grow up in things as a kid that you were just so oblivious to. Right. And then when looking back, you're like, wait a motherfucking second. Bro. What is going on? Like, I used to, like, play, like, this game, like, release with all my older cousins, and they would, all the 18-year-olds would disappear in the woods, but I was just, like, hiding. Like, at eight years old, I was like, they're never going to find me. I was like, I'm so good at this game. I was like, yeah, because they're all hooking up in the fucking <laughs> woods, like, oh, drinking and partying. I was like, of yeah, course, yeah, like, yeah. all these, like, older kids, like, because our house was, like, the neighborhood house where, like, Everybody, like, we would always have, like, 40 kids at my house. Yeah, yeah. Ranging from 6 years old to 18 years old. Mm -hmm. And then the older kids were like, you guys are definitely partying. And just, like, I thought I was so good at this game. And you guys just weren't even looking for me and getting drunk in the woods. (laughs) Yeah. I had had the same experience. I used to go to the river with some family friends. And uh, my dad's friend, he was always, like, acting funny. I'm like, what? And I'm this, like, naive kid. Mm -hmm. Come to find out, he was high. Every time, <laughs> yeah. as high as a kite. I'm like, God damn, I, I get so it now. Funny. His eyes were bloodshot. Yeah, I'm like Jesus. It's yeah. kind of funny how much drugs were around us and we didn't <laughs> notice. See, because I have stories like that too. Where like, yeah, yeah, my cousin was selling. Uh, he had those like those uh, vending machines with like little balls. That he would put a quarter in and whatever at my uncle's store, 
and he was like he had a new car and all this stuff and i always thought he would was making this money off those pinball machines or whatever <laughs> he's a drug dealer <laughs> you know that till later he's on he's a drug dealer i was like wait he was a drug dealer. He was like yeah how do you think he could afford all that shit and i was like the pinballs <laughs> that's for the business yeah i was like we're we going to poppy's tonight have you guys ever been arrested no, but I uh, was given a ticket for jaywalking once. That was a badass. Did you pay it? Or did you fight it? Uh, I don't know. I think my parents paid it. <laughs> I was like 17. I recently got pulled over for not registering my vehicle for over a year. Mm. Oh, or your shit. biceps. I that. Yeah. I what about you? That. I haven't paid it yet. What about you, Brett? One, have you been arrested? I got arrested when I was 18 uh, buying uh, two gallons of Karpov, which is like $10 gallons of liquor for a party. Um, at Kroger's in Indiana, <laughs> I got arrested Jesus. using a fake ID. <laughs> that sucks. Why, and, didn't, why didn't you just run? Um, yeah, why didn't you run? Dude? Well, no, they said to me they were like, "Hey," because the ID worked. And then the cop meets me and he's like, "Hey, can we see that ID again?" And I was oh, like, "Oh, so so the cops were outside already." They were waiting for me because they could see it on the camera. They had it on cameras that I was like, so when I, the, uh, "Dude, the guy handed me the money in front of the Kroger's, like my friend." <laughs> <laughs> like they had them all on camera, they were checking me the whole time. And so it's like that scene from Superbad, kind yeah, of. Yeah, like, but you get caught. Yeah, they're like, "Can we yeah, see your McLovin. ID again?" You're and I was loving, like, dude. I was like, I, "I swear to God, I, I, I'm not gonna lie to you. I, I used a fake ID." And they were like, "Thank you so much for being honest. That never <laughs> happens." <laughs> <laughs> we're, like, we're gonna take you into the back and write you up, but we're not gonna put you in cuffs or take you to the cop car because you were honest. I was like, thank you. Uh, I'm gonna start calling you McMuffin. <laughs> McMu <laughs> hey, McMuffin. I would have lied. <laughs> yeah, wait, that's actually funny lied. because there was a McDonald's next to the Kroger's, and my butt. My, there was three of us. The other, my other buddy who didn't yeah. get arrested, he was buying chicken uh, McNuggets at the McDonald's next Whoa. door. So he's he's like, I remember he's like, as we're getting arrested, he's like <laughs> walking back. He's kind of like a bigger dude with red hair. His name was like, Van. This isn't illegal. And he's like, yeah. walks, he's like, I see him. He's holding a bunch of McDonald's and he looks, he sees us getting arrested and he starts running the other he ran. Dude, with I, his McDonald's and I was like, Van! I will not, I, so one time in high school, we were at a high school party Obviously, we were drinking. That was we you were in high school, in, right? Yeah, I was in high school. Okay, well, not now. Thank God. Was it last week? I was at a high school party. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, I see where you're going with that. No, <laughs> I was. Whoa, in high school. Whoa. Whoa. How come no one laughed at my joke? <laughs> I laughed at it. Okay, I laughed at it. That was funny. So when I was in high school, I was at a high school party, and we were obviously drinking. And the cops got called, and I'll never fucking forget this, man. I hide in the backyard in this like big pile of like grass like grass like where you put, put your what it, clippings yeah it's massive i'm hiding you can only see my eyes like sticking out of this Hi i got so many tics big on my beautiful body eyes i got so many tics <laughs> oh, that's on my such body a connecticut thing oh. to say and i'm watching i thought you said you had so many tits and i was like i'll fucking do that <laughs> shit no no tics <laughs> and i'm sitting there and i watch my my one buddy try to do what you did he walks out he's like be honest man walks up to the cops they're, like knocking on the door trying to get in the house my one buddy comes out he's, and this fucking cop picks my buddy up and suplexes him on the hood of the <laughs> oh fucking my car, God. dude. God. I watched it. I was like, oh my God. I am not going out there. <laughs> dude. They, and it was like the one buddy that like isn't athletic at all and like just gets fucked with all the time. Yeah. And it, I, dude, it was the funniest thing I've ever seen. I'm like trying to not laugh and like, like hiding in this clip, this like grass clippings. And they, dude, they fucked him up. Like they were not, they were not gentle, and they were like even more mad at him for being honest. Wow! <laughs> oh shut up, you bitch! Yeah, Are you being honest? Shut up, you little you, fucking bitch! Dude, I'm being honest. They're just like, I assume you all have guns and crack. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So he got arrested. He I got arrested. Oh yeah. Well, how yeah, long were you in be. that little oh. fucking patch of grass, dude? Like hours. Oh, really? <laughs> hours, because they were searching for all of us, and I was just like, you'll never find me here. <laughs> no that way. Was so yeah. fun. Well, that's kind of exciting, huh? Yeah. 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 You kind of like you felt probably like the fucking man getting out of there. Like, I felt like Rambo. Yeah. Like, like I actually was like, they'll never find. Like just like seeping in with like your surroundings. Yeah, it was yeah. the, oh, I thought it was the smartest thing. And then afterwards, I was just covered in ticks. Ooh. Oh was, my like, god, spicy. Oh, oh, oh. Well, I have another one for you guys. So in college. I had this buddy and he always had, he had this glow in the dark bong that we would always, we thought we were so cool. We'd always like smoke it. Like the four of us would be smoking it in a room together. Like there'd be four and it would be like glowing in the dark. It's all dark, like whatever. And in March of that year, we decided we're all going to go to Fort La drive to Fort Lauderdale together for That's spring break drive, from Indiana. It was 20 hours. We didn't realize this. So we're like, we're going to split yeah. this up into four parts, like five, six hours each of driving this car, whatever. 
the couple stops. Mm-hmm. So we dr- we get to fucking Fort Lauderdale. It was like the worst week of my life. We take over this entire hotel. Everyone's blacked out the whole weekend. I broke my computer and my phone. So I have no pictures before 2013, before this spring break. I remember my oh. buddy got invited to go to Miami with some people he didn't know. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, dude, I don't, I don't think you should go to Miami. Mm-hmm. All of a sudden, like eight hours later, I'm in my hotel room and it's like two in the morning. I just hear like knocking on the on the wall i'm like what the fuck what the fuck he's like let me in let me in, let me in. <laughs> i'm like what the fuck i let him in he's like there's a guy chasing me with a gun holy shit and he's like dude i got a fucking ruby in miami i don't know where i am i woke oh up naked God. in a dumpster and i have nothing on me i like, uh-huh. had to get back he's like i told a cop to or he's like he's like i had a cab driver drive me back he's uh-huh. like but i didn't pay him because i have no card and he's chasing me with a gun right now uh-huh. i'm like we'll fucking hide oh. and then we're like hiding under the fucking beds and i are not i heard the, the cab driver he's knocking he's like open this fucking door and pay me my money and we waited for like hours why and didn't you just pay him you didn't get your wallet stolen oh yeah i didn't think about that dude we were fucking <laughs> so you just helped the guy again. <laughs> yeah, dude, we dude. were shook we're fucking shaking and then the guy goes away so anyway fast forward it's the end of the trip and we're like okay we got it we got to get out of here and this trip at this point i'm like i need to get the fuck home mm-hmm. i want to go back to indiana i don't ever want to go on vacation again and there's four of us in this car driving turns out they had smoked so much weed they never even left it. <laughs> they were in the fucking car the no whole so listen the four days so listen so we're we leave fort lauderdale i drive the first six hours and at this point because you know i'm prescribed uh anxiety medicine because like you know i have anxiety so i take i, I, hope so. I drive the first six hours and at this point i take a I take a pill i'm like i'm fucking sleeping the rest of this car ride i hadn't slept in days mm-hmm. i was like i'm out so I take a sleeping pill. I pass out in the back of this car after I drove the first six hours. I come to, it's four, four in the morning. I fast out at 1 p.m. It's four in the morning. And I wake up and the, my buddy, I have one buddy screaming next to me, pull the fucking car over! Pull the car over! The, Wait, and we're in the back seat. There's a guy in the front seat driving and there's smoke everywhere in the car and he's holding a joint, shaking. He's like, I told you no no drugs in the car. I told yeah. you no speeding. Pull this fucking car over. And the guy driving the car is like, no, no. And I look behind us, there's three cop cars chasing us oh, on the Georgia shit. highway. We're going like 100 miles an hour on oh, the highway. Co- three cops are chasing us. And, and the there's, car's smoking. And he's holding a joint that's fucking putting weed all over the car and i'm like dude dude i'm like i like didn't even know where i was i was yeah. like what's going on what's going on uh, my other friend's like pull the car over <laughs> so we pull the fucking car over uh, and like all of a sudden the cops like banging on the fucking window like i was, I was like what the fuck he, he rolls the window like i could see like in the night with because like, of the lights like the, the smoke like hit his face and he looks he goes i just got punched in the face with the smoke <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like, what the fuck what? So, he po- the, so then there's like six cops three dogs and we're on the side of the road and we're in oh. fucking yeah, they really needed the dogs to figure it out <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, in, we're, in, we're on the cocaine highway in georgia so we're all on the side of the road with our hands on our heads and all these cops and they take everything out of this car and they put it each in front of us. So like everybody, take your items and put them in front of you so that no one can d- deny right. whose suitcases. Who, we have suitcases, so I put all my shit in front of me. There's, they have all like each one of us has like a cop or two searching our shit as we're sitting over it. And I'm like, oh my god! And he search, they search all of my stuff. Like I'm clean. They yeah. search one of my buddies. He's clean. They search the third guy. He's clean. And then they get to the driver and they start to search his bags. Mm-hmm. And like I just remember in the night. I see them and they pull out the glow in the dark bong <laughs> that we used to smoke weed with in my dorm room. And I'm like, oh, we're all going to jail. <laughs> like, oh, we're so fucked. Yeah. And they pull it out. And then all of a sudden they're like, come back to me. Like you back in the car. They go to my buddy, my who's, car, you know, they're like you back in the car. They tell three of us, you guys back in the car. They're like, we're not going to arrest you guys because we didn't find anything on you. And we don't want to fucking deal with all of you, but we're going to take your buddy with the bong mm-hmm. he had like i guess he had a bunch of weed and a bong in his suitcase yeah. like, we're taking him to the jailhouse and dude george is not yeah. a good state to get arrested for <laughs> no they that's they, like one of the worst states they actually took him to the same jail that where the first episode of uh the walking dead is <laughs> is filmed that's i'm like cool. it's like horrible <laughs> scary how long how long was he booked for just he's like, he booked overnight i guess and then he had to take a greyhound bus back to indiana oh, the next you, just month. Left you left him there oh yeah so <laughs> <laughs> you guys left him in georgia so, well, well so, they left him because right out while they were putting him in the car 
All you hear is like, that's them, officer. And it was a fucking taxi driver. <laughs> 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 yeah. That's uh, them, so, officer. So, um, <laughs> what, really, wait, wait, was this the friend that got roofied in Miami? No, he was one of the ones who got away. He was the one that got away. Okay, gotcha. And my, one of the guys was like, well, I have a midterm in the morning tomorrow, so I got to get back to Indiana. And I was like, oh, shit. Yeah, me too. Oh, so yeah, yeah, me too. <laughs> so we, then we just fucking ditched him and left him in Georgia. Are you still friends with him? Dude, never he? heard from him again. <laughs> yeah, no you guys, are, you guys are bad friends. <laughs> <laughs> Would you leave us, one of us, if that was if that was No, the case? I'll tell you I'll tell you what the truth. Uh, he was a bad egg. Oh. So, so that was a lesson that you guys put <laughs> No. We're teaching you a lesson. <laughs> Wait, did they break his glow in the dark bong? <laughs> he, he never he got it taken away. But I didn't um know. I thought you never talked to him again. I, I'll tell you a funny Fine. story. With the hotel that we were staying at, it was basically for this like this trip where like you know, they basically put up 400 kids at the shittiest hotel yeah. possible. And I remember when we walk in, the hotel was named after this guy's parrot that he's had for like 40 years. And the parrot like talks to you while you check in. It was the stupidest thing. But this parrot it was, was a the, real parrot. this guy's pride and joy. And like this group of like 200 of us that took over, whatever it was that took over this fucking horrible motel, like got, a bunch of dudes got drunk one night. And snuck into the lobby and let the parrot <laughs> <laughs> release the parrot. No way! Oh, so, so this poor fucking hotel owner comes home, comes into work, and the parrot's missing, and he's like, "Where's the parrot? Where's oh, the parrot?" See, Damn. parrots are actually really smart. Though. No, he found its way back. Yeah. I actually Googled it. I like, went into like recently. I was telling this story, and I was like, oh, "The parrot!" Like I forgot. I felt so bad. I was like, "We need to find out if this parrot came back." And I was like going on Yelp. The reviews were horrible for the motel, but the parrot's back. So parrots actually tip like there are a lot of times they're known for outliving their owner. Yeah, they're they pretty smart. So they can live like a hundred years. Yeah. I used to have a parrot. Really? Is he died. Dead? <laughs> it was in nineteen ninety nine. Did you did you kill the parrot because you're jealous <laughs> no, of No, I think life? I, it was one of us, I forget who it was, but we all went to a New Year's party in nineteen ninety nine. It was the new millennial. You know what oh, I two mean? K going into two thousand. I remember looking at him and I'm going, like, we'll see you next year. But we forgot <laughs> to put the fucking blanket on top of his cage, so we came back and he was fucking frozen to death. <laughs> no. Yeah, so we like I remember my the first thing my dad said was like, "Fuck, did he think he made it to 2000?" I, like, I don't know. I'll see, was, I'll was, see you next year. Those Y2K computers took him out. Yeah. <laughs> right. dad, that parrot just did a bunch of white lotus. <laughs> yeah. You and your, the parrot and your dad. Oh, yeah, it probably was. That's gonna happen. Are they annoying? What? Um, I don't think it was annoying. I liked him. Yeah. Yeah. How old, how old were you in '99? Eight. Yeah, I was born ninety two, so oh, yeah, you're third. Yeah, okay, so yeah, you're seven. Okay. Seven. Yeah, yeah seven. you're old. Yeah, I'm thinking, yeah. I'll love you. I'm maybe twenty nine on Saturday. Twenty nine is such a great year. Psych. Is it? No, it oh, is. I guess I was Everyone six. Yeah. Like and you're twenty seven. Oh, that's what I said. Right, oh, I'm twenty nine. I'm turning twenty nine. <laughs> and you're thirty, right? I'm thirty. Yeah, hell yeah, we're old. Dude. We're all with we're an old, man. You two better respect your elders. Hey. Yeah. Please, someone respect give, me. Give David a hand. <laughs> give David a hand job. Respect him. Yeah, <laughs> David and Brett. Dude, what a thanks pleasure for having. Surprise. Thanks for being on here. Yeah, you guys have really good chemistry. Literally one day apart is our birthday. I know we got a party this weekend. That's dude. awesome. Yeah. Let's fucking do Wait, it. That should be the name of your podcast. One day apart with one Brett and apart. David. One day apart with Brett and David. Yeah, yeah. it's really but, one year and one day, but yeah. One year and one day apart. Sixty-six days. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. yeah, I was waiting for you to finish. <laughs> How many days were there in a year? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, you know, like three hundred and sixty. You guys yeah. can film it here. Call it the Good Boys. Yeah, as well. You can just change that every time Why you do it. I can tell everyone we ripped off his. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, he, he puts David over Toddy when you guys shoot it. Because it's also a picture of his girlfriend there instead. <laughs> yeah. Hey, cool. you have a picture of Danielle on this side. Yeah. Oh no. It's reserved. Sculpt- a sculpture it right there. Reserved. Yeah. Dak Prescott. This is the sculpture of Danielle. <laughs> yeah, Brett. Brett had to size her. I was talking so. about the candle. Actually, that's probably more like Danielle. Oh yeah. That's that fine. candle with the middle finger. That's the one Brett sits on at night. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for watching the Good Boys podcast with Toddy and Brett. Today's and guest, David Alvarez, and. Brett, Brett Robinson. Yeah. Thanks for having us, guys. That was, was nice. Blast, as always. Come back tomorrow. All right. No, seriously. Dude, you want to just come back do this on every episode? You can do it, too. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Do you want to plug anything here today, David? Except Grace. <laughs> Go check Other out. Other than your girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Go check out uh, my YouTube channel featuring Brett. Ooh, is that oh, an invite to your YouTube yes. channel? Yes. 
We can do the ranking the guys. Yeah. Wait, can we be on one we of the ranking the, the guys? Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? The we can do the Oculus review. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oculus, <laughs> Oculus review right. and ranking the guys. Can wait, I can rank we, the guys? Yeah. yeah, can we be on the ranking the guys, the three of us? We all wear Oculus and then... Never mind. Do you actually can we actually <laughs> what? Can, can we, we wear the Oculus together? I don't want to do a video like that again. What? The ranking? The ranking, yeah. Is it weird? Dude. I did a video where I uh, it was like ranking six guys on attractiveness and then I did another one like Did ranking. you put like the girl filter on them? No. No, 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 no. This oh, was like funny. literally it was like a, six of my best friends and we all mm. ranked each other on like hotness, right? And then I got six girls to come and then they re-ranked us. Okay. And then I did the same thing with the girls like had six girls rank each other. And then the same guys ranked them. And it's just like, it seems like a good concept. It did great. <laughs> Both videos over it. a million views. But the psychological damage and whatever. Oh, right? my the tr- God. The trauma it yeah. causes for whoever gets six. I'm never hanging out with yeah. you guys ever again. <laughs> Wait, Dave, you said six best friends? No, how many friends. How many do you have? And we weren't there. I think about it, though. My space back in the day. You know how many fights my groups of friends in middle school would get in over who's in the who's top? Top eight, top, yeah. Top eight of my and then they and then they yeah. made it where you could put like thirty. Yeah, it was thirty two. It was the first was eight and then sixteen. Yeah. And then you could put how many? Uh, yeah, I don't yeah. Know. yeah we we were talking about how we both had Tila te- Tequila in our top eights. I don't, I don't have you know my friend Chase? Oh, oh no, that we we yeah, like turned followed, yeah, yeah. we followed her on MySpace. My friend Chase was famous on MySpace because he was like one of the first users. Yeah. And so he was automatically on your top eight. Really? My, MySpace Chase. Oh, Holy yeah. shit! My uh, yeah, Tom. I remember I had made a friend and I was like, okay, we're on each other's top. We're one. Yeah. It doesn't matter for what because then girls one can be like, I'm on my night. You're number one. But then, like, someone would get a girlfriend and betray the pack. And you're yeah. Like, you're a fucking rat. And then you would just change their back, back their background on their MySpace because, you know, we were all, like, fucking hackers. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. And and then, you're like, coding. Like, code. sad, you change it to, like, a sad song. Uh, yes, bro. Broke up. I remember this girl broke up with me, and her brother's like, why is this song so depressing? It was hurt by Johnny Cash. <laughs> <laughs> That's the darkest song yeah, ever. I, I was so yeah. depressed. I, uh, I broke up with a girl, and her song was uh, that Iman song, like, fuck what I Fuck said. you, you oh, ho. I, I don't want, want you back. back. <laughs> Fuck all that shit is that didn't mean Jack. Yeah, oh and I was like, that's a little much. Like, that was mutual. <laughs> <laughs> I think mine was the best thing about tonight's that we're not fighting. <laughs> you know? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, 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 what about the, I like the online the- notification too, right? Yeah. Like you can see if someone's online, you're like, oh, fucking message me, message me, message me, oh please. My yeah. Oh Aim, my God. Yeah. Aim, yeah. yeah. Aim, Do you remember people? ASL? Yeah. Age, sex, location. Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah. yes. What's your ASL? What's your ASL? That's so location. funny. Good times. Man, we, I, I miss this. It was, it was crazy because we were a bunch, around a bunch of 25 year olds last night, and it's only a few years younger than us, four years, five but years. None of them us. had MySpace? They didn't know who Tequila, Tequila was. They didn't know anything about MySpace. They were looking at us like we were fucking old. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, My girlfriend sad. looks at me like I'm old all the time. She's like, <laughs> fuck. You're not old. Yeah. She's 24. Yeah, we're only like Nice, Dave. Well, Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice little older man. Podcast, <laughs> I actually love All that. right, well, we'll All do right. this again soon, boys. Hey, my name is Jeff. I got a pee. Thank you guys for being on here. Dude, and my name is Jonah. Us. Thanks for coming. Let's take a nap together. Yeah, well. God All bless right, you. Well, thank, thank you, for you again. Wa- Buy our merch. Make sure to check out David's YouTube videos. And Brett, watch this guy on Big Brother. Watch the reruns. Well, I'm hot on TikTok too. Oh, and TikTok. Watch his TikToks. <laughs> yeah, watch really you guys, guys, I have a big TikTok too. <laughs> and, uh, he's, on, he's on a couple of people's uh, OnlyFans. Fucker. Yeah, cue the music. Fucker out. <laughs>